Hello everyone, again, uh, another video today, which is the daily life of a network engineer. Raise it up! Jumping straight in on this one, um, I'll explain what a network engineer is, what their daily tasks are, and um, sort of where you can go in your career as a network engineer. Um, it's a really good one to know uh, because network engineers are quite flexible, especially where they can progress to later in their career. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. A network engineer is a technology professional who is highly skilled in maintaining the connectivity of networks in terms of data, voice, calls, videos, and wireless network services. Uh, by definition, they are accountable for formulating, implementing, and executing the entirety of com computer networks within an organization. Network engineers address their role by making sure all the network systems are functioning properly as intended. Uh, the fundamental goal of a network engineer is to provide maximum network infrastructure, security and performance to the end users. Uh, depending on an organization's requirement of network complexity, uh, the organization will sometimes have a global team of network engineers across countries who take care of technological advancements throughout the firm. Uh, this international web of engineers proves cost-effective for the organization while also meeting needs for users and the business. So that's um, that's sort of the run sheet here of what a network engineer is. And I, I liked that one because it's very similar to uh, what it actually is. So jumping into the next bit, which is a typical day for a network engineer. So you start off by arriving at work. And um, first up, similar to a systems administrator, you're going to have to check the ticketing uh, help desk system for any new alerts or issues that have been escalated to you from the help desk team. Usually this is the number one priority um, because user impact directly reflects on you and your skill to maintain a network. Often there are projects on the go for network engineers which include things like firewall slash switch migrations, uh, network flow performance adjustments, internet redundancy testing, uh, VoIP adjustments, upgrades, firmware updates, you name it. Uh, a lot of these tasks are shared with the systems administration team, but it largely depends on how big the teams are that you are working in and what the business processes are. Next up after that is meeting time, very similar again to the sysadmin. Um, you're gonna need to meet with uh, other business stakeholders in what you're working on, where you discuss potential um, issues that might come up from works uh, you are doing and your progress on projects. Finally, it's time to actually get some work done. So you're gonna start chipping away at um, the tasks you have been given in the ticketing system or after those meetings. Uh, as I mentioned before, customer slash internal staff impact is usually what takes priority over what you're going to work on first. A network engineer is required to have the necessary skills to plan, implement and oversee the computer networks uh, that support in-house voice data videos and wireless network services. Uh, the virtualized network poses challenges to network management systems and as more hardware components are virtualized, that challenge becomes even greater. So even a lot of firewalls now are, um, they're all virtual. The bigger ones anyway, you use your own hardware and you beef them up as much as you need to. Um, and the network engineers are sort of, they're gonna be working around making sure that the DMZs and you know VLANs across the network are all perfect because if they're not, you're gonna be hearing a lot of people yelling at you about performance. Um, things not being able to be accessed, etc. That's all on the network engineer. Uh, often the job titles uh, network engineer and network administrator are used interchangeably, which can confuse people. However, a network engineer usually has a more executive uh, responsibility than a network administrator does. Um, they're usually the one who's gonna have to go to the meetings as well. 
The engineering side of things tends to deal more with uh, planning, design and technical specifications, whereas the administration type uh, side of thing deals mostly with the day-to-day -day maintenance, management and troubleshooting efforts. So I hope that explains that bit uh, easily for you. Um, what else have I got written down here? I've just got some notes. Okay, so computer engineers um, have computer science as a common major. Network engineers focus on delivering high availability network infrastructure to sustain the online and on-site information technology activities of users. In addition to uh, any technical skills, network engineers need analytical skills, leadership skills, and organizational skills, of course. Given the demands for network engineers, uh, the network engineer salary varies on different things like uh, the company, the job role, difficulty in what you're managing, uh, experience, and of course, whereabouts you are, so the location. Uh, the starting network engineer salary is around 50,000 US dollars per year, whereas median network engineer salary goes uh, for around 60 to 70,000 per annum. Uh, and I could, the highest one I could find in the US was 90,000 US dollars, um, but you needed a lot of experience and um, yeah, certifications to get through that one. Um, there's many options for career growth as a network engineer though, um, which include, but are not limited to the following. A network solutions architect, a SOC analyst, you can move up into that from here. Uh, network security specialist, which is more of a contract role usually. A cloud networking architect, IT manager, as long as you have some formal management training, you could go to that one. A network analyst, um, Wi-Fi specialist, mobility specialist, and VoIP engineer if phones and you know calling people is your thing. So I hope this information has been uh, helpful for you all. Um, as always, if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, uh, comment below if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Catch you later.